Right, by now you have completed the E activities, namely the polling and the padlet. Pause this video and do it now if you have not done so. If you have, I thank you very much. So, I would like to do a closure on the suicide terrorist case scenario that you have watched earlier. So the first question is, do you agree with the ALS patient's decision? What I've anticipated is, most of you would think what he did was right, as it is his life. He's just exercising patient autonomy given his argument. He suffers greatly and do not want to inflict suffering to his family. But I think you are unlikely to share the same value. You will not advocate his decision for another person with similar circumstances. Also, it depends on your religious belief. The second question is, can such a scenario occur in Singapore? Well, this American patient make a trip all the way to Switzerland to die, the only country that permits euthanasia for foreign citizens. And for this lesson, euthanasia and assisted suicide are used interchangeably. So why did he do that? Because this is forbidden, all the access criteria are more restrictive in his own country. And at this point that we are talking, Singapore does not allow euthanasia or assisted suicide. One will be criminally liable for such act. In short, it can be viewed as a criminal offence. If you were a doctor, would you help the patient in the video to die given his circumstances? Euthanasia and assisted suicide are largely disapproved of and most doctors do not want their profession to have any part in such acts. The most common reason given was that uh, Singapore society is not ready for this sort of a legislation. Though many specific cases of severe suffering do trouble doctors in Singapore. 